desperately need the help. There are thousands of veterans walking around the streets of LA who don't even know that the, that they can get help. There are people walking into this office, even those right now, with big stacks of paper that I go through to see, to help them get their compensation. I'm a VSO, uh, I'm, I'm a veteran of the U.S. Army, I'm also a disabled vet, but most importantly my job is to be your advocate. I don't work for the VA, I work for you. And so helping individuals understand, negotiate, and navigate the VA system is our primary responsibility. A lot of them don't know everything that they need and a lot of them get a little uh, disoriented when they see all these forms that they have to fill out and they get uncomfortable filling out paperwork. So what they do is they need help. So what I do is I make sure I have everything they need. And once the package is complete, I send it up. Then there's no questions. Uh, Los Angeles is the number one hometown of veterans in the U.S. and it is also the largest hometown of homeless veterans in the country. So the need is great. Uh, organizations such as the American Legion find some money to help hire us as uh, veteran service officers and help the veterans obtain their benefits. Obviously if there was more money we could do a great deal more. So if we didn't have service officers to help the VA hospital with their paperwork, then it would be so, it would get so slow that it'd be a backup worse than there is now. And we can only do so much. But right now I'm only here five hours a day and my day is crammed. I have lists, I keep a list of all the people I see. These are just some of the reports I keep. And I've got stacks over here in my uh, file cabinet in the bottom drawer of all the people I've seen, what I'm seeing them for. You know, they have to come back sometimes, but they don't mind because in the end, they get their just desserts. Our need is great, and the American Legion is asking for the community at large to be more supportive of veterans. We now understand that the need is to go directly to the community, businesses and individuals and ask for their assistance because the assistance is great. Our uh, two part-timers could be full-time and we could feel three or four or five more people easily if we had the funding for it.